Hare Krishna and welcome to Vladikavkaz, which is a beautiful city here in the southern part of Russia, in the Republic of North Ossetia. Vladikavkaz is situated in the foothills of the Caucasus Mountains, near a very beautiful river called the Terek River. Uh, there's about 300,000 people who live in this town, and uh, the city was founded in 1784 as a fortress during the uh, Russian conquest of the Caucasus, and for many years was the main military base in, in this particular region. Our center here has about 100 devotees. Preaching started here around in the early 1990s. Um, it's a small temple, a small group, much different than you know when we were traveling in the, the cold tundra of Siberia and the chilly weather of the Urals. They have big centers there. It's a small center here, but small is beautiful and the devotees are all very nice. They do Harinam once a week and they distribute books. So we're having two big programs here. We had a public program last night. It was attended by about two or three hundred people. We gave an introductory class on Bhagavad Gita. We had a nice kirtan, distributed prasadam, the same formula that we use all over the world for introducing people to Krishna consciousness. And today is an off day for us. We have a break. Uh, we've been on the road now for over a month. This is our first <laughs> break day. And we've come to the foothills here of the Caucasus Mountains. Uh, very beautiful, towering mountains, still full of snow, although spring has come to this region. Uh, a break for us as well from the cold weather of Siberia. And uh, we're visiting a monastery here, a very historic monastery. It's a sacred place and it's very uh, historic as well. Uh, a few weeks after uh, Lord Jesus Christ was crucified, his apostle Andre um, came to this particular area of Russia and began preaching Christianity. The scholars and the historians, they say that this is the first place that, this is where Christianity actually arrived uh, in Russia. And he preached amongst the villages here and the head priest here, who was a very kind and gentle soul, he spent at least two hours uh, sharing with us the history of this region and the development of the church. He said before the Apostle Andre came, uh, this area was known as um, the place of the Aryans, which I thought was very interesting. He said this is the place of the Aryans, a, a very uh, sophisticated civilization who also believed in God. Ram, 
So when the Apostle Andre came here and he began preaching Christianity, I asked the priest here, was there some conflict with the Arians? He said, no, both are worshiping God. And to this very day, actually, the, the people of this region live in a very uh, harmonious way. There's different groups who've moved into this area now, and there's different few other churches, but everyone works together very harmoniously. I thought that was a very interesting fact, and probably one reason the priest was so friendly and so gracious with us. So one more program tonight, and then tomorrow we're off to Sochi, and then the bigger cities in Russia. We go to St. Petersburg, and we finish our trip in about three and a half weeks in the capital, Moscow. Hare Krishna from the foothills of the Caucasus Mountains here in uh, southern Russia. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna.